Hello friends, welcome to the 45th session of Hybris tutorial. In this session, we are going to learn how to extend the attributes of existing item type. So guys, for example, in our case, I have this user item type, right? So this is the corresponding users table, which we have already discussed in our previous session on this series of data modeling, right? And these all are the attributes, right? We do have an attribute with the name creation time, current date, right? Default payment address, plus it has other attributes, right? For example, UID, which is present in the principal item type. So all these attributes are present in this item type, right? So if I just search into the user, right? User item type in my DB, so you will find that we do have multiple columns present in our user item type or users table so there is a difference between item type and table name so you can see this is the table name users but this is the user item type so these all are the columns we have currently so maybe it is highly possible that in actual project uh, scenarios as well we need to add you know one or two more columns right into the existing table so how we can do that that i am going to discuss in this video so what is our requirement so our requirement is so requirement is we need to we need to add two more columns into existing item type so item type is user item type right so this is our requirement so how we can do this so guys uh, there is one way that either i can add one more attribute over here only right but that is not the recommended approach why it is not the recommended approach because this is the core item.xml file this is the out of box out of box file and it is not allowed to do any changes in your out of box file so that is why we always have to do this uh, do these changes in our custom item.xml file only so we do have this training core item.xml file and in that file only i will be doing that so how we will do so what i will do i will be just copying this item type right so i will be just copying something like this right and then we will do the changes over the top of that then i will uh, go to this is the item type right so this is the type group which is ending over here over here we will start writing our item type so item type declaration item type declaration for creating two new attributes into the user item type or user table right so how we will do how we will create two new more attributes into the user table so for that guys what we will do i will do the declaration something like this so you can see over here i am saying item type code is equal to user right so this is the same code which was there in our core item.xml you can see this is the same right same uh, item type code we have used the same item type code because we need to create two more attributes inside this item type or inside the users table only right and then i'm writing generate is equal to false auto create is equal to false why generate is equal to false and auto create is equal to false because the we because the user item type is already there in our db table right so we don't need to create a new item type that is why it is mandatory to write auto create is equal to false and generate is equal to false and guys these are the two attributes one is the attribute is name will be custom attribute one second will be the custom attribute two so these are the two attributes so once we perform the build of the project and once we perform the system update you will see that in the user table we will have these two new columns right in the user tables custom attribute one and custom attribute two so and these will be of type java.lang.string so i hope guys this is clear to you what i am saying over here
so now our next task is right our next task is we will build our project so i am building my project so i will fire the command ant all so this will take around 15 minutes in your system and once the ant all command gets finished you will see that in the user model dot java we will have these two new attributes custom attribute and custom attribute two so let's wait for the build to get finished and once the build is finished we will cross verify in the model class and then we will bring our server up right and we'll perform the system update and we will see that whether the two new attributes have been created into the uh, into the user table or not right So guys, now you can see and all command has been finished successfully. It means code build has been completed successfully. Right now we can see in our user model as well. We do have these attribute, cust attribute and cust attribute too. These have been created. Now we will bring our server up and for that what I will do, I will just fire the command hybrid server dot bat. So in this way, I am bringing my server up and once I bring my server up, then I will be basically performing the system update. So let's wait for the server to come up, then we will perform the next steps. So guys, you can see server has come up. Now what I will do, I will open the HSC. So this is my HSC and I will log in with my credentials admin and password is nimda, N-I-M-D-A right then i will try to search into the user table right so we have not performed the system update yet but i will still try to search in the user table whether in this table new attributes have been created before the system update or not these two new attributes right so we are searching this select star from right this is the user table and i'm just clicking on the execute button and then I will just try to search this custom ATTR one, right? And we will see that these attributes are still not created or these columns are not present over user table currently. So what we will do, we will perform the system update. So I will go to the platform, then I will go to the update, right? So this is a thing you also need to do. And after that, we need to unselect these two options. So I'm unselecting this and I will just select the update running system. This is the most important option. With this, new item types will get created into the DB. So I'm clicking on the update button. And once I click on the update button in the backend, you can see the system update has been started. So this system update will take around 20 minutes uh, in your system as well as in my system as well. So let's wait for this system update to get finished. And once the system update is finished, we will see that in the user uh, table, right, users table, two new attributes will get created. So let's wait for the system update to get finished. So guys, now you can see system update has been finished successfully. Now what we will do, we will try to search into the user item type again and then we will see whether those two new columns have been created into the user table or not. So I'm just writing select star from, right? So I'm writing select star from user. Okay, and then we will search whether those two new attributes have been there or not so then i will just search for our two newly created attributes one is this custom attribute one okay so you can see the new attributes have been created now into the user table itself so i hope it is clear to you this concept will be used more frequently by you in your project task because there will be a requirement that we need to add some additional attributes into the existing table right so this is the way you can add existing attributes right additional attributes into the existing item type so i hope guys this video is very useful for you in case you like this video do share this video with your friends thank you for watching bye